What? Are you kidding me? That is freaking massive. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm building this thing block by block. Oh my god. Hey everybody, it's Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to some more Dragon Quest Builders 2. So here we are, back at the Isle of Awakening. We just finished Act 2, Crumbled In. Brought back all of our new companions. Magrog, Doogie, Digby, Den, uh, Babs. And who else was there? Of course, Malroth. I think that's it. And uh, we're home here to greet Bonanzo. Oh no, we got this lady too. What was her name? Ordelia. And Rosie. And what's her name? Lillian. Brittany. Wrigley. And Lulu back there. Of course, Malroth. Now I guess we got these weird guys. Shane. Creepy Shane and his followers. I guess he's the new uh, Pastor Al. Reincarnated. Somewhat. And now we want to go talk to the old hermit again. And I'm, you know, I, I kind of want to do some building here while we're back. And, but I figure this is a good story arc moment that you guys will probably want to tune in for and not miss out on. So let's just see what the uh, guy has to say. We got some medals here. Uh, it's good to know we share come come common interests. So yeah, we always, he said this before. We just give it our medals. He's got two. Brings us to nine. Make that ten and I'll give you a bow. Still don't have our bow. Uh, I missed probably a few medals on both the islands, so I should probably go back at some point. Ah, uh, Johnny, you're back, back, back. I see you've brought a few new friends with you. Oh, who is this lovely lady? Her beauty is making me b b b bashful hee <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere, Mr. Hermit. We prefers our gentle manses with hairy chins, not hairy backs. <laughs> yeah. uh, are you the airy hermit we heard about? Heard so much about? Well, we've come to live here, if that's alright with you. <laughs> it's more than alright, young lady. I'd be off my rock, rock, rocker to say no. I imagine the first thing you'll be needing is a place to stay 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 now where can we put you thanks thanks for the offer but we don't need no houses or hotels just yet there's something else I want to build first Johnny you remember when I got turned into stone well that meant you build the gold bar without me I missed out big time there to make up for it I want to build a great big building something proper special what people but people from miles around will want to come and see. That sounds like a wonderful idea, Babs. I was just thinking about the Lulutopia could do with a premier tourist attraction. Hey, kitty. Come over here. Don't mess with the power bar. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, ho, ho. In that case, I just know the spot, spot, spot. Well, you could put, a, put it in the Scarlet Sands. Johnny, why don't you head... East, check, check, check out the island. Second snow tablet. Hey, kid, it. Seriously, I, uh, I bring you in here for a second so you can chill with me, and all you want to do is attack wires and stuff. You're terrible. Just sleep. Or lie down. <laughs> or play with your billion toys. Or your freaking castle. Just something. Ow. My cat is freaking... She's in her teenage years now. Uh, what is she? Two, three months old now? I got her when she was eight weeks. And I've probably had her for a month. So yeah, I guess three months. She's getting big, but she is rambunctious as heck. Anyways, you guys tuned in for a video of a game, not to hear about my cat. So let's try to continue here. So he wants us to go to the Silent Sands or something. Is that what he said? So interesting, this this is where the Forophelians hang out, and this is probably where the uh, Crumble Dunions are going to hang out. Would you not drink my water for- I can't- I, I, 
Okay. I gotta kick you out of the room until we're done recording. That's just the way it's gotta be. Until we're done recording. Don't you go. <laughs> Feels bad. I can't even relax with my kitten and make videos without her just attacking everything. But I like having her in here next to me while I'm chilling. It's just hard to focus on anything. So yeah, what was I saying? The Crumb Dundalians, the Crumble Duns, will probably hang out here. Then the Act 3 characters will hang out here. So it seems like we'll be building things for certain characters in certain areas. Interesting. That's not how I expected it to go at all. But yeah, we are bringing just these characters over here. And it is a desert, which is very home to the Crum Crumbledons. And we have a new board with new things. So it seems like we'll be building things for them here and things for them over there. Which makes it interesting, but this isn't quite enough people to build for. As I was saying at the end of the last episode, I really hope there's a lot more NPCs that come. So I, I hope there are more no-named NPCs and not just the named ones. So let's see what this has to say. Johnny takes a closer look at the redstone tablet. Oh ho ho, just like the tab tab tablet in the green gardens, this one too is left left behind behind the builder who lived here once upon a time. Uh, think carefully about what you need to build, build, build to turn this place into your own island paradise. When you come to a con conclusion, the targets will appear. Hmm, well Babs wanted a big building, and I was hoping for some sort of scenic spot to turn into a tourist attraction. Okay, if she's talking about tourist attraction, I hopefully that means that there will be outside NPCs that come in. Johnny, perhaps you could think of something that combines both her ideas. Uh, you did so well before, I'm sure you could dream up something just as spectacular this time. Pic a picture of an enormous edifice soaring over a sandy sea and in, in, interp in, interspersed with an oasis shimmer in Johnny's mind. Yaha! Hmm. Yep. Build a pyramid and an oasis. Oh wait, the oasis was the last place. Or wait, wait, no, this is both for this area. So we need a pyramid leading to an oasis. A splendid sightseeing attraction would entice new residents to your shores. A great big pyramid would do the job perfectly. Okay, that's cool. So, when we returned after Act One, we just built like a, a river and grew some trees and made a meadow. Now we're actually building buildings and uh, an oasis. So it's a mixture of two. Um, instead of a river, it's a pyramid, which is much more complicated than a river. But coming from Crumbledon, that was a, the act about building, because we did so many buildings in that act. It only makes sense to come here and build something. And there were so many people that were attracted to the town of Crumbledon in Act 2 that it was really about recruiting tons of people. So the whole building a pyramid to recruit people seems very, very fitting. So liking the way this is going right now. We're going to build a pyramid and an oasis. Uh, nice one. That sounds just like the ticket for us Crumdunlians. <laughs> Crumdunlian. I can't say it. Uh, oops, skip that. Uh, I like the look of this place, the sand of the cactuses, the red rock, it all reminds me of home. Not, uh, let's not stop at a pyramid, let's build a whole new town here. You all seem awfully keen to get started. Are you always as excited about building? Uh, of course, dear. Ever since we met Johnny, we've been crazy for construction. Must build more, more. Uh, speaking of which, we brought the materials with us from Crumdunlum. Thought we would come to in useful once we got here. Know what I mean? Pow. And we picked up the very best of what our island has to offer. 
you want to use some or what we brung, just have a butcher's in that chest. Gosh, you really thought of everything. Now listen to me, everyone. Woo to working, boo to shirking. That's our motto here in Lulutopia. Let's all start work on the pyramid and the oasis. <laughs> Let the building begin! Optional, yes! Find more residents. Where do we find them? That's great. Oh ho ho, another challenge complete. I see crack crack cracking job, Johnny. Uh, well, would you look, look, look at that. It's a mini metal. That's gonna get us our bow! Sweet. If you complete one more tablet target, I'll reward you with a transformo tr trowel. What is that? Toodle pip pip for now. Huh. Did he give us our bow, though? Or do I have to go hand that metal in? So that definitely clears up one thing that's been kind of one of my talking points and concerns with this game is I really hope that the NPC situation back on the Island of Awakening is bustling in comparison to what we saw in the stories. Uh, or what we saw in the stories, but more. And the fact that our first optional quest is to recruit more residents is just a, a sign of good things to come. Uh, definitely takes a wood away a little bit of my worries and concerns that I was having with this game in terms of the Isle of Awakening sandbox adventures. So that is very promising indeed, high hopes. And um, as I, I, I mentioned a few episodes ago, we went and visited somebody's island and it was like a tiny little island. It was not the Isle of Awakening and they had built up this whole thing there. So it, it seems like maybe at some point you're going to be able to kind of create your own mini lands away from the Isle of Awakening. So even if you manage to fill this whole thing up and you're like, well, now what do I do with the game? It's like, do I, have, like, you don't want to start a whole new game just so you can build different stuff uh, and have to go through the story again. I think there is a way to generate a mini island to build on. We'll have to wait and see, but uh, there's still so much to learn and find out about this game. So let's talk to Lulu and see what's next. While you were away on Crumbledon, I took it over, I took it upon myself to study this island a little more. I think I know a perfect place for, to put our new tourist spots. Oh, ho, ho, you'd be wise to follow Lulu's lead when we work, work, work on Scarlet Sands. She knows the area well. Uh, took take a look around. Took take a look, look, look around and see. And, and don't worry about getting lost, lost, lost. Now that you've up, uh, act, act, activated the tablet, you can warp back here at any time you like. Uh, while you're busy down, down, down here, I'll, I'll be up at the temple. P -p 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 Pay me a visit when you completed both tab tablet targets. I'll be waiting. All right, everyone, listen to me. We're going to build our pyramid over there. Wow. Core blimey. With all that space, we could have made a proper prestigious pyramid. Digby's, Digby's, definite, <laughs> Digby's definitive pyramid, we could call it. Everyone wants to name something on this island. No, maybe we're, we're gonna call this big boy after the biggest boy around me. The, the Great Pyramid O Diamond Geezer. Now, those two are stark raving bonkers, but at least they are <laughs> they're enthusiastic. Johnny, Malroth, shall we join them? <laughs> Let me see this tablet. Okay, so there's no other big list of optional targets uh, optional missions until we complete uh, what we have available here let's just take out all this stuff Malroth, protect me freaking ants, man jeez That's really not a whole lot of stuff. I mean, I brought back way more than they did. <laughs> Malar can freaking do his job. All right, let's uh, organize this bag. Wow, we have four pages full of stuff now. We're eventually going to have to make a storage 
uh, place to store everything. Uh, let's just put some food on our bar. It should be plenty. And maybe some buildable sand blocks or something. And that should be good. We can evolve our table. Yes. Oh, look at that. Johnny remembers all the recipes he learned from Crumbledon. Beautiful. Let's take a look at this table. Let's see what it has to offer now. See, there's... Yeah, spend grati gratitude points to learn this recipe, an anvil. I thought we already had an anvil. I suppose we didn't. Stickler sifter. Stain, stain extractor. It's like a washing machine. Yeah, I guess Crumbledon had an anvil, but we just used it. We didn't actually build one. So that would make sense. But now it looks like we have a, a combination of um, things that we haven't quite learnt yet from Faro Fields, as well as a bunch that we haven't quite learnt yet from crumbled in but now they're kind of mixed I don't know which ones are from which uh, I mean we could make some assumptions but uh, it would have been nice if I fully unlocked everything from furrow fields before I went to crumbled in that way we right now we would know you know all this new stuff that we have to unlock is specifically from our crumbled in quest line either way it's from either of the two uh, glass door that's really nice cast iron door yeah, there's a lot of new stuff in here, and a lot of stuff to learn. Awnings. This is quite incredible. New decorative items. Holy moly. Dragon Quest logo. Ooh, water wheel. High heels? <laughs> Oh, golly. Fruity Parfait? Splay Hook? We'll put pic I wonder if we could actually take uh, pictures that we've taken in the game and put them on the picture frames. Gentleman sign, lady sign for your bathrooms and stuff. I wonder if you do that, if... Yeah, they would probably... The AI would probably know... To only let certain people in those rooms. Uh, a scandalous swimsuit? Jesus. A crash cart. Spiked metal mine cart. A choo choo train engine. <gasps> it's amazing. We gotta make a train ride. Paper. A chandelier. Wow. Oh my goodness. Things are really unraveling. Naughty nightlight. <laughs> a planter. Oh, planters. That's great. So you can grow crops in like individual spots. A pet bowl. Pet bedding. My goodness, there's so much new stuff. It's absolutely ridiculous. This alone is like an overwhelming amount of stuff that just seems like I could be building for days with. So, I am absolutely enthralled with the stuff we're going to come up with. Look at these tiles, sets. Ooh, gotta make a haunted house or something. Wow, wow, we and we st like that's the thing. I don't really, really want to get into the building until we get that last one. But then I was like, oh, we gotta get back and play around with the sandbox stuff. But then I'm like, I just I want to see what else I can get. <laughs> um, it's it's tough because 
When you get to Act 3, you know it's going to take at least 10 hours, if not more, up to 15, before we're ever back here. But then once we're done, we're done. And whatever appreciation tokens we earn here, we could buy whatever we want from this. But then part of me goes, do I want to rush things so quickly? Do I really want to get through Act 3 and be done with all the story so quickly? Don't I want to spend some time here and unlock some of these goodies and have a little bit of fun with the game? Something which I didn't do in between Acts 1 and 2. But I'm not sure. I'm a little indifferent about it. It's just nice to get everybody on our side and get everything that we need so we can just really... Because the that's the thing. This Isle of Awakening, even though you've done the story and you've beaten all three acts, all three chapters, this is really where the game begins. So I would say even if you finish the story, you haven't even cracked the surface because everything... Half that stuff in the ch there's is still locked, which reminds me. Let's take a look at our Builderpedia. 20% of total items in the game have been crafted. That's it. Um, so 10% from Farrowfields and 10% from Crumbledon, essentially. So even by beating the third act, the third s part of the game, that would probably only bring us up to 30%. So 70% of the game comes from after you finish the story. That's insane. 24% um, of all items acquired. So again, we haven't even cracked the surface. 44% uh, of all enemies defeated. So I don't know if the last act has all 56% or if there's some end game after Act 3. Maybe, maybe Act 3 is not even the end. Maybe there's some more to the game after that. We don't know. Uh, bedrooms, wow, we've only discovered 21%. That is really, really insane. And 36% of blueprints, but these are obviously the game story blueprints. So again, like, once we get to Act 3, I don't think we're going to have, you know, uh, 40, wait, or sorry, 64% of all the blueprints are part of Act 3. I highly doubt that. So I'm assuming... Once you beat Act 3, there's going to be another chunk of story. Maybe that story takes place on the Isle of Awakening. Maybe it takes place somewhere else. Uh, but there's got to be post-story content that keeps pushing you through, keeps pushing you to do stuff, and to keep pushing you to play. Um, nonetheless, as you can see from the numbers here, we have barely scraped the surface of this game. And I've probably played... 30 something hours. You guys have seen me play for 30 something hours, but my Steam probably says like 40 plus. Uh, just from tinkering around with things and messing around. So, let's continue on with the pyramid. Here we are. It's the perfect place for the pyramid, wouldn't you agree? Uh, you've been you've been played blinder here, Lulu. I couldn't have picked a better spot my, myself. So, you gonna get stuck and help us build? Certainly am. I may be the queen of Lulutopia, but I don't mind getting my hands dirty. I'm a builder too, I'll have you know. Oh, and Malroth, I have a special job for you. We'll need your strength with this project, so no lingering on the sidelines this time. <laughs> and no problem. You need me to break some blocks or maul some monsters, I'm your man. I'm glad to hear it. I expect you to work until you drop in order to turn Lulutopia into the paradise it deserves to be. Um, I think you mean my empire of evisceration. <laughs> Always arguing this too. Oh, uh, hey man. Oh, it's Shane again. Well, where the bleeding neck did they come from? <laughs> Creepy guys. Uh, don't have a cow, man. We're just here to watch a builder do the do. If we miss this chance, it'd be such a shame, man. I don't like this guy and his man talk. You won't even notice we're here, man. Carry along with your plan, man. Uh, go away, man. Or if they step out of line, I'll beat them senseless. You just concentrate on the building of the pyramid, okay? Will do, Malroth. Well then, I'd say it's high time we started work on the pyramids. Hang about, hang abbot, hang abbot. <laughs> Is that what they're trying to say? Hang abbot. We ain't got a blueprint yet. Reckon uh, you could do the honors, Johnny? Make a ma make it massive, yeah? I want to build the biggest building what's ever been built. B 
big building that's ever been built. You got it. What? Are you kidding me? That is freaking massive. <gasps> Don't tell me I'm building this thing block by block. Oh my god. I think I remember joining somebody's game world and thinking, oh my god, I can't believe they built this pyramid. And it makes sense now. That the game makes you build this stuff. That's why I wasn't ready to go visit people's stuff and make videos on it just yet. Because I wanted to know what was built by the game versus what was built by the player. Um, and I'm assuming we're going to get the NPCs to build this up. Because that would just be painstakingly hard <laughs> without them. But it's interesting because we did the uh, Dia Tree in three chunks. We did the Golden Bar in three chunks. And now... We're actually doing something on the Isle of Awakening. So it seems like there's a little bit more content in between these Acts 2 and 3 than there was for 1 and 2. Poor Blimey Johnny, no, that's what I call a blueprint. Uh, I know so I said I wanted to, it to be big, but I never expected nothing like this. We'll have a proper eye catch period when we're done. Hey, Nabbit, this ain't finished. I thought pyramids were supposed to be pointy. Are you going to split this one up like you did the gold bar? Mm -hmm. Sounds like a plan to me. I don't know about you lot, but I reckon it's more exciting this way. That's all well and good, but there are... But where are we going to go get the blocks we need to build something so large? I think I can answer that one. Truth is, we thought Johnny might have something like this in mind, so we came prepared. <laughs> we did just... We did just bring a chest full of the very best materials and... Oh. That's Den talking. We didn't just bring the chest full of the very best materials and crumbled into his offer, did we? We brought another one, another two and all. <laughs> uh, remember that underground temple? Well, we went and nicked a shed load of blocks from it. <laughs> we could use them all to build the pyramid. All right, I reckon we're about to get ready. We're all ready to get started. Are you helping, Johnny? You don't have to if you don't want. We'll just do fine without you. Up to you, ain't it? Interesting. So I can actually help them lay down the blocks. And they're just going to go to these containers and pull out what they need? Let me see inside of this. Why can't I open it? Okay, what's in this one? Alright, they really did bring everything. They're just plucking away. This is amazing. It's such a big blueprint. Hey. The pyramid ain't the only thing we have to make, you know? That tablet said something about the oasis, too. Problem is, this place is nothing but sand. Oh, how are we supposed to, s to make lush oasis with a load of lovely flowers around if we ain't got no soil to grow them in? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Turn that frown up, up, upside down, my dear. That's what we got Wrigley for, right? Whenever you get stuck, 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 just call me, just call on the Bud Bud Buddies for help like your new found friends from Farrowfield. You've got, got, got a lot on your plate over here, but things will go a lot, lot faster with a few extra pairs of hands to help. Oh, oh Johnny, I think it's about time you learn how to make a, resi a residence register. You can knock, knock, knock one together at the crafting station. Just place it on the ground, 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 when you're done. I ain't too sure how a residence register is going to help us, but I've got a feeling we should do what the old fella says. Alright. So, that's cool. Like, they'll build this pyramid while I'm working on the oasis. A roster writ with the names of everyone you know can be used to relocate islanders. Oh. Interesting. So if I want everyone to live here, I can do that. If I want certain people to live here. So like all the crum crumbledons. Like if I want uh, to make my big gorgeous pub on this side of the map and have Babs come live here. That is actually an option. 
Interesting. If I want everyone to live over there, I could do that. Very cool. Alright, let's craft this thing and see what it does. Um... What, what is it? Where would it be located? So many things now. Mm. Is this it? Residence register. Wood, grass fiber. Let's make one. Guess we'll plop it down right here and see, see how it goes. Oh, hey, Johnny! Is that the residence register? Have you figured out how to use it? Oh, oh, oh. You might not know, but I do. With that scroll, you can move, move, move your pals to different areas of the island. That's not the only thing, thing, thing it could do, but for now, try to sum, sum, summoning some of your friends from Farfield over here. Say, Johnny, any of your mates know a thing or two about soil? We need some if we're going to grow a bit of greenery around the oasis. Uh, who else will that beardy bloke and the nice girl with the the pet specs seem pretty keen on giving an and reckon you can get him over? Oh ho ho! It's decided. We'll bring 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 over Wrigley, Rosie, and Bonanza. Go on, Johnny. Use the residence register and give 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 them a call. Funny thing is, like they're living over in Forrowfield, but they don't have any houses. They don't have any food. They don't have anything at all. Um, you would imagine there'd be some kind of like necessities bar that I should have like that's kind of how I saw it like they shouldn't have sent me to act two until like they had their like hey Johnny you can't leave us without any food or home housing you know but apparently we could just they'll just yeah they don't need anything but it kind of breaks the immersion of the game because if they don't need anything I could just beat the game and say I beat the game and turn it off What's the point of building them anything if they don't need anything? <laughs> you think they would all be over there dying and starving and going, Johnny, what have you done to us? Um, but I guess it is what it is. Uh, you could rename residents you've brought back from Explore Shore. Oh! That Stuart guy. I could rename him. So yeah, he's like a non-named NPC, or I guess non-story NPC, which I can rename. Even the chickens, eh? Oh, so, oh no, I was going to say they have a happiness meter, but that's just the chickens. But the chickens are not happy, because they do not have the necessities they need to live over there. Look how many NPCs we have here, though. We could change the island's name. I'm so used to calling it the Isle of Awakening. Okay, so what do you say? We're bringing over Bonanzo. We can add them to our party. Sands. Relocate. Sands. And Wrigley. Oh, this is so cool. <clears throat> wow! I knew you lot would, wouldn't be able to manage without me. After all, I taught the builder everything he knows. <laughs> That's a lie. Hello again, Babs. I'm so glad you invited me over. I hope we would have the chance to work together since the moment you set foot up the boat. Yoo-hoo, Rosie, Wrigley, Bonanzo. brings you three over here. Johnny sent out a call for help, so we did. Uh, I hear you making an oasis, and you need some soil off for them. I reckon I can help you out with that. And Rosie, I shall lend uh, our considerable skills to the construction of the Spectalo Pyramid. Many hands make light work, so they say. Uh, by the way, if you need any more help, I don't expect Perry, Brittany, and Lillian are too busy. Maybe you could call them over too. Brittany, Lillian, and Perry. 
Sounds like a plan, Rosie. Let's work together and turn Johnny's Island into a, a puka little place to live in. Yes. Let's... Oh, this is going to be so much fun. We're going to build and build until we can't build anymore. Hehehe. <laughs> Looks like you've got some stiff competition in building stakes, Johnny. Try to keep us keep up to us now. And here I was hoping for a quiet life. Oh, Johnny, I forgot to tell you. Do you remember that chicken you brought back for Perry? Well, she's been very busy. Hen, cluck, clucking around and laying lots of lovely eggs. Oh. Look at that. You should try cooking them. They make for a great snack when you're peckish. Thanks for roping in a few more recruits to help build the pyramid, Johnny. Things will start running a lot smoother from here on now. Oh, ho, ho. Your friends may <clears throat> hail from diff diff different lands, but they won't stop stop them from working together. Builders, uh, builders the world over have long, long, long dreamed of land, land, land where they can lens a hand, hand, hand. Ho, ho, ho. So I hear. I, I hope you use the residence register to its full, full, full potential and keep everyone busy, busy, busy. Uh, speaking of busy, Johnny, reckon you can help Wrigley with the Oasis. I'm going to crack on the, with the pyramid. Uh, once you're done with that, you can either lend us a hand with the pyramid, or even better, build us some lodgings where we can take a well-earned rest. I do think it's about time I built some houses or something. Uh, let's see now. What goes into making an Oasis? Well, at the very least, we shall need some water and some greenery. Now then, Johnny, I've spotted several dried-up ponds in this vicinity. Uh, you, can you tell... Uh, you can tell they were from uh, palm trees that still grow there. There's one particular that I believe would be a most ex excellent oasis. It's just behind where those missionaries are lurking. First, you need to fill the basin with water, and you can use your bottomless pot for that. Once you got that, uh, got them leaking wet, I'll work me wormy ways to make the banks all nice and green, or... Just put some of me favorite grub down, and I'll do the rest. Alright. Just so you know, sand and soil ain't got the same nutrients in them. So greenery, uh, what grows around here ain't going to be the same as the stuff back on furrow fields. Oh, uh, I can't wait to see what grows around the new oasis. Fill up the bed with water, plop down a few of them worm balls in the banks, and we've got a looking blibbin' brilliant. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to dig a bit deeper into the secrets of the oasis making, just c come and have a chat with me, all right? Okay. So we're going to get different types of crops and stuff here. That's interesting. Very cool. So he said bring over Perry. Uh, oh, I could search by just the land. Did they say Perry, Brittany, and Lillian? I guess so. So, Stuart, you're going to have to watch the chickens while they're gone. Hey, everybody. Yo. Hi. Yellow! <laughs> Alright. I think they just automatically go help with the pyramid, eh? Sweet. Well, let's go freaking fill this thing up with water. Still don't understand why it's only three changing... Ugh. Hey! Fat rat. Fill her up. Now, how high do I want to fill this thing to? Right to the top or what? That's a lot of porn. Jeez. Make lots of water. Optional. Now, what is that optional task being completed from the Ferro Fields 
checklist? Because that, that was a furrow field target, it was to make a lot of water. But I didn't remember seeing one for over here, which is actually really interesting. So I wonder if we can complete both checklists but from any land we want. So in the long run, when you have all this stuff that they need you to do, you could technically choose to do it in whatever land is your favorite. Do you prefer the oasis? Do you prefer the farmland uh, valley area? Or, I guess, the arctic area? At least that's how I'm assuming. And I don't think I'm wrong about it. But it, you can also build up all three. And make them uniquely different. Did I start a waterfall over there? It's interesting. Seems a little weird. Yeah, I, I'm I'm feeling like I need to hang out here for a little bit before I head over to Act 3, but it's, it's tough. It really is tough because they do such a good job with this game in making you want to play more of the story. Um, I want to, you know, learn who the new characters will be, what the new land is about, and what things they're going to have us building. So we had the obvious farming town, we had the obvious mining town, but the third city doesn't seem so obvious. I'm going to assume it's about tech and gadgets and things like that. Um, but that guess might be completely wrong. And I, I'm not going to know until I go over there, and I'm definitely... It's itching on my consciousness to go check it out. So, yeah, they don't make it easy. You're like, I want to just... I know a lot of people just want to get to building, and they probably would have done it between Acts 1 and 2. Made a bunch of houses for everyone and just had fun. But I think they just do such a good job with the story that I'm having a hard time pulling away from it. How do you make this water even? Can I stop this waterfall? It's a little bit silly. Ugh. It's not pouring out of a water source, which drives me nuts. Uh, let's climb up here. There we go. Yep. Pull that one up. Yep. Now, the water's doing some really weird things. It's like not even. It's like, why is it higher there? Uh, I guess I just gotta keep filling it up more. Like, how do I fill this part to match the height of that? Curious. We have to stand here and pour it down. Nothing's really happening. I look at the pyramid. We've almost got two layers done already. So, that's interesting. This is a this is an enemy wave coming in. Much like the story mode, it looks like waves of enemies will be attacking our villages. So, that means we're going to need guards, we're going to need guard towers, we're going to need defenses. So, there is an aspect of turret defense in this game. Which is pretty darn awesome. Because it gives it that RTS kind of feel. 
You're building farms, you're building towns, but you're also needing to protect them. And I like that a lot. Quite a lot. Yeah, okay. I have to tinker with this water and figure out how to make this nicer. I don't really know what's going on here, but I want it to be even. I don't know if I can actually fill it to the top or not. It seems strange, doesn't it? Then it creates these little waterfalls that endlessly pour from nothing. <laughs> What's the deal with that? Uh, there's not even water here. Phil. Oh. See? Tablet target's green. We just completed a Pharaoh Field optional quest. Another challenge complete. I see crack, crack, crack a job. Well, you look, look at that. It's a mini metal. And he said he was going to give us something awesome for these mini metals. Well, you knocked off a five tablet targets off the list. In recognition of your amazing ex ex exploits, I present you with this Transformo Trowel. It's one of the best useful items in a builder's tool, tool, toolbox. It's like an iron. I'm going to iron clothing with this. Uh, swap blocks for rapid renovations. Use it on a wall or floor while you have a block, block, block selected in your item bar. You will replace a big, big area of blocks with the one in your hand. It makes it much, much quicker to mix and match materials as you build. Uh, you'll be finishing the rest of the tab, tab target targets in no time. Finish off another five tablet targets and I will give you a transformer towel. A nice... You just gave me one. Oh, he'll give our Transformer Towel a nice boost. Interesting. Uh, lay it on a... Th lay, it on lay it on a thick with this block swapping tool and renovate your walls and floors in an instant. Simply choose the block you want to lay from your inventory and swap away. But how do you select a big area like that? We gotta try this out. Okay, so I have sand on me. Let's... Oh, that's... Weird. It's It highlights a certain area? Can I aim it? I guess I can. Oh, weird. But obviously it consumes what's in my inventory, okay. Oh. That's great. So in theory, what you could do is just put down whatever blocks you want. Just build stuff. And then kind of deal with it later. Well, it's not that precise, is it? It might paint things that you don't want it to. Like it kind of did there. Messed me up. Uh, let's see if I can get that back. Yeah, it's not the most reliable thing, is it? I can't even paint this properly. Oh. Eh, it's interesting. I, I wonder how useful it really is. Um, yeah, I'll have to play around with it and see when and where I like to use it best. Because I think if you were trying to, like, just get a small little bit of a house painted a different color, it might start selecting other pieces of the house, and it might just be easier to manually place all those blocks one by one rather than repaint them. Uh, so very interesting stuff. What I want to go do, he said he had a bow for us. So let's go get our bow. Then we'll go check on the pyramid and see how that's coming along. Let's give him some medals. Oh, I thought he meant like a bow, like one uh, bow and arrow, but it's a freaking bow tie. 
Oh, lame. I thought it was like a hunting bow. All right, back to the Scarlet Sands. Let's go check on this pyramid. I feel like I got a lot of menial tasks to perform here. Like, trying to even out that water might take me freaking an hour to get right. Uh, so I'll probably mess around with that in between the recordings. Uh, the pyramid is looking amazing. I can't believe the NPCs are doing all this themselves. It's quite incredible. So you do what they need, this game needs, it needs a blueprint mode. And what I mean by that is like, rather than a character placing things block by block in game, what they do is like, you could use your mouse and keyboard and just like, you know, uh, select 10 tiles by 10 tiles and go fill. And it kind of fills it with stone or something. And then you can select a row of 10 tiles by two tiles and you go fill. And then you can kind of like design and fill, design and fill, design and fill, and just kind of like, make it way easier than moving a character around and placing things block by block, but instead doing it from like a god's perspective. You're just in a in a black map or a white map or whatever, and you're just like selecting rows and grids and filling and rows and grids and filling, placing things one by one from a list, kind of like a uh, video game level editor mode. And you make your blueprint and you save that. And boom, that's saved. Now I can come into my game and place it down, and all these builders will come build it for me. Uh, that would be absolutely amazing. I don't think it's a thing in the game, but it would be perfect for this game. And then you could share those blueprints with people online, they download them and place them. But I feel like the way it works is we're going to have to manually build them painstakingly with our character, brought block by block, and then afterwards we can select that and save it. Which is also cool, but... Having an editor mode would definitely be a lot easier than controlling a character, but... That's just an idea. I think that would be definitely nice for this game. Uh, Johnny completes the pyramid level one blueprint. All right, there we go. Yeah. Oh my days. Have you seen Johnny? The first stage of the pyramid's finished. That is quite amazing. Uh, we must rest our laurels, but we have a funny feeling that this, uh, that it, when it's complete, this pyramid will be truly spectacular. Uh, we could barely wait to see this fin uh, finish this thing. Might might explode from excitement. Once the peak of the pyramid's in place, people will come in their droves to have a sh shufty. Tell you what, if we had a bar nearby, we'd make a killing from a tourist trade. They'll come in from the pyramid, stay for the jiggers. This chap certainly has a sharp eye for sale, wouldn't you say, Johnny? I knew there was something unusual about him. I thought I was just a, a mustache. <laughs> All right. I must admit, I'm rather in awe of our new arrivals. Uh, they built this massive monument in mere moments. Well, it ain't like this the first thing we ever made. Uh, we helped to build our gold bar, you know, and that place was, a uh, well, glitzy. An enormous glittering gold bar? Oh, wow, how wonderful. I can't wait to make my first royal visit to Crumbledon. Uh, we'd be honored to have you. Uh, your Majesty, if you you like glitz and glamour, you'll love the mates and Goldie Rocks, our mates and our mates Goldie Rocks jewels and the fanciest fellas around. Hey man, this guy, get him out of here. He can't even get up the stairs. Come on. What should you build? Was a real jam, man. A blokes went down with a slam, man. It was like a magic alakazam, man. Uh, you got a vision, man. Real ambitious. I think you want to be a builder, too. The real thing is I'm not a shaman. But sadly, there's another island we gotta be at. Orders from the man, man. Good, go. <laughs> hey, Johnny, these dudes and dudettes 
can lay claim to this island all they like, but as far as I'm concerned around here, you're the man, man. We might be missionaries for the children of Argon, but we won't force you to believe believe we respect your freedom, man. And now we gotta scram, man. Peace. Please don't ever come back. <laughs> Weirdos. What do they even come here for? Maybe they're telling the truth. Maybe not. Anyone in the children of Hargun is as bad as they say. Ah, uh, they're probably just freaking getting intel. Well, I for one don't trust them in an inch. As far as I'm concerned, they're evil and they always will be. Uh, let's not waste our breath talking about them any longer. We have a pyramid to complete. Time to drop that blueprint. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this. Oh boy. How many pieces is this going to be? That's not even like a third of the pyramid. This is going to be like a five, six piece blueprint. Let's see here. Wait, does that even make sense? Oh, no, 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 I see. It's not connected to the bottom. So that's on top of what we already have. That would make more sense. Even still, I think it's going to be a few more pieces before we get to the top. A nice one, Johnny. It's another masterpiece, in it? All right. All right, I'm ready to feel the burn in the, my biceps from Bosch and Blocks and... On this blueprint. Well, let's get cracking then. I hope you lads and lassies have done your warm ups. It looks like we still have enough materials left to build this blueprint too, so you leave this to the this place so you can leave this place in our capable hands. Uh, by the way, Johnny, when you've got a sec, I've got a little favor to ask you. So much to do. Alright. Looks like we're pretty much approaching an hour here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's it's tricky. I feel like a lot of this stuff is going to be very chore related, uh, but it's also kind of fun to watch. But I think it's just going to be m like hours and hours of uh, menial tasks. And uh, I think the important thing to do in this let's play is keep it to the fun stuff. Because I'm definitely going to run over and mess with that oasis for, like, probably an hour till I get it right. And that's something I don't think would be fun to watch. <laughs> but while I'm doing that, the pyramid will get complete, which is probably something fun to watch. And then I got all these, like, mini tasks in between. Um, we also have the tasks on the board, like, uh, let me see. Let's pop us over to the Isle of Awakening real quick. I mean, the, um... What's this place called? Why is it not showing me? Green Gardens. So yeah, if you guys remember from earlier episodes, we have these optional tasks, and we completed one uh, when we made water over in the oasis. So, with that said, I can build rooms. I can build a restaurant. I can build... A room up somewhere high. Uh, I can make a meadow, a forest. Uh, light up the island. Build a farm. Build lots of fields. I can do all of this stuff. Make all sorts of food. I can do that stuff here or over there. And through doing that, I'll get those medals, which will give me more unlocks and appreciation hearts, which will allow me to purchase new pieces to build even greater things with. So... Uh, I think it's time to just get in there and get building some stuff. And I think recording all that and making you guys watch it with me uh, would be... I mean, I could go for hours. I could do an hour of it. I could do 10 hours of it. I could do 100 hours of it. 
Um, <laughs> and it's all basically not really adding to the progression of the story. So I think for now, in terms of the series, the Let's Play, I want every episode to be story driven. Now there might be little bits of story that crop up while we beat the stages of the pyramid. They might say, okay, let's get another stage. Oh, blimey, this is amazing. Keep up the good work. But I don't think it's anything paramount. Uh, definitely what's going to be the biggest story progression thing is once the pyramid's finished, once the oasis is finished, I definitely want to jump into that episode. So that's hopefully where you'll see me next, you guys. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye now.